Hello everyone, I am Ashok Johnson. I work for a company called as Trances Global Forwarding in Mumbai. I thank the Cochin Chamber of Commerce for giving me an opportunity to express myself and share my thoughts uh, in the current times of uh, an unforeseen pandemic that the world is facing right now. I was actually wondering what is it that I can contribute uh, to what is already there in the public domain with regard to how organizations are coping with the current situation. It's a very tough uh, situation as we all know in terms of the business, in terms of industries, whether it is a large size organization or whether it's an MSME. All of them are going through you know, uh, very tough times, barring probably the pharmaceutical and healthcare and uh, you know, telecom and a few other industries. Most of the industries are facing a downturn and, and has never seen uh, an impact like this uh, in the past. So I'm going to touch upon two of the leadership dilemmas that most business leaders are facing at this point. Uh, one is the question of the right sizing of the company and payroll management. Most business leaders are under a lot of stress to take the right decision on the size of the company at this point wherein there is a lot of pressure on uh, numbers and there's uh, also uh, the the pressure on uh, laying off people or you know cutting salaries so it's a very tough decision for most corporate leaders um, what many organizations do of course is the laying off people is is the last thing or as a last resort most most companies take those decisions but uh, payroll management is something which uh, is is becoming very common now in terms of salary pay cuts many organizations are you know deciding on the pay cuts based on based on uh, uniform structure across all levels some of them are actually uh, you know cutting it based on the various slabs of the of the staff so the you know the employees at the highest slab would get the highest pay cut and and and, and so on and so forth so there are various ways of uh, doing it uh, it's very difficult to say whether there is a right way of doing it or not because every organization has its own um, uh, dynamics. One thing that I feel and I'm, I'm also observing that as a trend in the market is that when we do this um, one needs to be very careful about not being trying to be over democratic in the sense that when we try and make sure that we treat everyone in the, in the, with, this, you know, with, with the same parameters in terms of payroll, we are actually affecting the performers. Uh, the performers have done well and people who could not do well during a quarter if they are given the same salary pay cut, uh, the performers do get demotivated and that's something that I have observed as a trend wherein a lot of people in the market who are actually looking for jobs despite doing well during the pandemic because the companies uh, that they're working in have uh, have uh, cut their salaries um, so this is this is uh, an important element that uh, employers need to be very careful about that the cream of your team which is buck the trend and which is done exceedingly well during the crisis needs to be rewarded whether it is COVID or a non-COVID period. Uh, how do you do is, is, is a million dollar question because uh, one also has to be sensitive to the needs of the others in the organization because it doesn't mean that those who were not able to get the numbers or meet their KPIs during this period are actually non-performers. Uh, it's just that the situation is so bad that even good performers were not able to deliver in many organizations. So, so if salary pay cut 
in a uniform way or a pay cut based on slab wise is done there should be some other way to award the performers uh, it could be in the form of some rewards it could be you know uh, compensating them with uh, you know uh, additional income as an incentive for good performance over and above what is being paid to them uh, which would compensate and even uh, reward them for what a salary cut has happened uh, for them i think this is very crucial because you don't want the best of your team members to be frustrated uh, for getting a cold shoulder uh, from the from the organization um it's important to be fair uh, but it's also very important to be fair on the performers so i i just feel many organizations miss this element of consciously rewarding the performers during a setback and they feel that okay maybe the options are limited for anyone to move out so they when they take a hard decision they uniformly take it which uh, which uh, may actually backfire in terms of losing some very good resources during this time um the second observation that i have um and which is you know the second leadership dilemma that uh, that most corporate leaders face at this time is what do you do with the planned hirings or investments on resources you know we are already in q2 of the financial year and most of the hirings happen in q1 as as the budget uh budgets are planned in that manner wherein hirings are phased out and predominantly majority of the hirings in most companies happen in q1 or q2 now with the pandemic having uh, taken over most companies have gone very conservative on hirings uh for for new resources and also for replacements i feel here one has to tread with a little bit of caution um rather than just being very conservative or follow a stereotypical way of approaching uh you know the investment on resources based on what uh you know in people in the industry are saying you got to do what you got to do based on what your organization needs if you feel that and that applies definitely to mostly the service industry and where you know resources make all the difference um, you know um those companies need to take their decisions and of course mix it with caution but don't just shut the hiring process because uh, you know at the end of the day if your deliverables and if your service kpis to the clients are not met you're going to lose further going to lose more business so you need to take those calls bite the bullet uh be focused on on your decisions you may mix it with caution but you know you got to still take those decisions on on hiring people what you have planned uh during during the period and i feel a stronger approach with conviction would leave better results for future quarters for any company than a completely conservative approach wherein you just trying to hold back all investments and just trying to improve your beta uh by reducing cost i believe that's going to backfire in q3 and q4 when things are likely to improve so i feel uh, you know leaders need to take some strong decisions and 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 during these times with dilemma of hiring uh is there one needs to be very clear in in terms of backing their instincts and taking those decisions so yeah i think i'm i'm happy to share these thoughts with you and i hope and pray that all of you are safe and uh you know take care of yourself and thank you for your time mm-hmm.